Yo, what's going on guys, it's Godly here. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to um, fix the GK61 or how to betterly like try and fix bugs within the software like how, how, if your keyboard's not being recognized because I know it's a lot of people are having that trouble like their <coughs> keyboard don't get recognized so what we want to do first is you want to go head over to GK to HK Gaming's website or even Epo Maker's website links will be in the description go to drivers type in your keyboard so I'm going to type 6 SK61 and here it is click on this and click download for Windows if you're Mac download the Mac version once you have done this you will get a folder like like this and you'll extract the folder of course you'll right click and click extract once you've done that you will just run this application once it's installed you should get it like this and it should automatically prompt you once you've loaded up once you've loaded up if you don't get this screen then the only easiest step to do is unplug your keyboard plug it back in and then it should read it if it's not if you click up here on these three little dots if it does not show your keyboard make within the supported models that's why it's not being shown but if you have one of these keyboards then it should work or if it doesn't still don't work but you find your keyboard under supported versions under the supported keyboards then there's another thing you can do is a lot of people I know a lot of people uninstall and reinstall but doesn't that doesn't always clear the stuff make it work what you want to do is go to start type in run type in percent app data percent click OK and you want to delete this folder here let me just move it you want to delete this folder right here once you deleted that then uninstall the GK61 software and then try and reinstall it it should fix it I'm not a hundred percent sure if it will but that's how you should be able to fix the GK61 software now I I've heard a lot of people don't like this software it's really bad but the only good thing about this software is you can make your own custom lightning effects unlike other software for other keyboards this one actually is really good for making custom color effects and that for the price yeah it's still quite a good software in my opinion of course there's other keyboards out there that have better system better software but this is GK61 we're talking about here HK gaming and this was like their first attempt for a software so yeah if you guys do like this video make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe if i've solved any of your problems please let me know in the description and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video peace